Okay, what are your three rights? Well, the right to free speech. No, 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 not those rights. Your rights of a worker. Oh, well, I don't know them. Well, the first right is to know, and that is to know the hazards of your job and how it could affect on someone, such as snow slipping on the water. And that also includes your chemical safety. You remember Wemis, right? Yes, I do. Wemis was my favorite thing to learn about. Great. Uh, that is the right to participate. Do you mean in sports and such? Uh, no, I mean to help participate in health and safety matters. And after you are finished this and you go know backwards and forwards, you can become a health and safety representative. Oh, that's lovely. Could I run a meeting and such? I suppose you could. Now, now, the third right is to refuse, and that is any unnaturally dangerous work. And you can also refuse for your own co-workers if you think it's unnaturally dangerous for them. And if you do, there will be special procedures that have to be followed, but we'll get to those if the time ever comes. And not all jobs are da that are dangerous can be refused. Like, if I was to ask you to wash and polish a very sharp knife, you couldn't refuse that because it's a part of your job. Okay, I think I get it. So, if you're asking me to clean the oven or the cleaner that is very flammable and combustible, that would be something I could refuse. Exactly, you got it.